Yakir, what's the current state of the mobility sector in Israel? Thank you, Matthew. Um, so really the mobility sector, not only in Israel, but worldwide is uh, actually going through very interesting times. Um, basically, this is very much due to the intersection between several trends. Um, and I think in order to understand this, we need to kind of realize that in the past recent years, uh, the key vision for the, auto for the automotive industry was the vision of CASE, Connected, Autonomous, Shared, and Electric. But in the past year, I would say, um, there has been a few, uh, a few flaws that has been discovered in the approach. And the key ones were around um, first of all, the, the framework itself, where um, the fact that autonomous and uh, electric and connected are technological components, shared is a business model that mainly relies on key developments of the first three. Um, because of that, um, there are many platform technologies, such as Uber, Lyft, many other uh, shared uh, uh, technologies, are not able to actually reach profitability just because the underlying uh, technologies are not there yet, which brings me to the fact of, uh, to the aspect of autonomous. Autonomous capabilities have previously, uh, we heard statements that by the years 2021, 2022, 2023, we will see already fully autonomous vehicles, what, what the industry likes to call uh, autonomy level five. But where we are actually today is that um, the OEMs and the tier ones basically stated that this is a much bigger effort, it's much harder to get there, it would require much more uh, capital to be deployed into the development, and we're basically at the levels of two plus, two plus plus, and maybe a handful, even less than a handful of uh, level three capable cars. Uh, basically, that means that the many startups that from the get-go aim towards either platform technologies and shared mobility, uh, and on the other hand, maybe full autonomy, they're now uh, uh, struggling in adapting towards the new reality of the uh, automotive industry. Uh, as an investor in the Israeli ecosystem, has actually from the get-go invested in startups that are not only relevant to a specific level of autonomy, but could actually cater to the different levels. So in the ARPA portfolio today, we're seeing startups such as Arbe and Innoviz who develop uh, sensors for the autonomous vehicle already being uh, uh, discussed into levels, into vehicles of level three um, autonomy and companies such as Broadman 17 and Kartika already tackling the, the, the problems of ADAS, not only focusing on level five autonomy. If we're looking at the shared component, uh, the shared mobility has actually suffered quite a bit from the lack of uh, um, adequate infrastructure. And a company that actually joined to earlier as Skytran, a company that is actually solving those problems by developing both a low cost and easy to deploy infrastructure, and together with that, the software layer that actually enables on-demand transportation uh, and moving at speeds of up to 300 kilometers per hour. Looking at other trends, uh, so if we spoke about the demise maybe of the case framework, the biggest uh, other trend is, of course, COVID-19. COVID-19 got people traveling less, staying away from public transport, maybe from shared transportation. P people are trying to get back to the personal ownership, uh, traveling by themselves. And we're actually seeing a huge rise in uh, micromobility adoption, for instance, because of, of the fact that it is, first of all, you, you uh, avoid congestion almost entirely. Uh, it's completely personal. Uh, and an example for that would be a portfolio company of our crowd called uh, Super Pedestrian, which does provide a shared e-scooter platform and the scooters themselves, so hardware and software together, they're actually also targeting, uh, adapting to the COVID needs today, and they provide uh, a sanitized, a sanitization services also for their uh, platform, so anyone can use, uh, could have access to micromobility um, without the fear of infecting, uh, uh, attracting COVID-19. So uh, there's a big footprint in cars and other land vehicles. Um, what about the growing demands of the aviation industry? Is the Israeli ecosystem equipped to address those as well? 
So that's a very good question. The aviation industry, um, actually, if we think about it, when was your last flight, Matthew? Can you remember? I can't remember. Yeah, so, so mine was early January when I flew to CES. Um, and since then, I actually had uh, zero flights, as you can imagine. Um, and, and probably the aviation sector was the most affected sector by COVID-19. On average, about 60% decline in passenger volume. We've seen some peaks in, in certain airports of uh, almost 99% decline in passenger volume, really grinding to a complete halt, uh, almost grinding to a complete halt. And ARCOD has been working with several entities from the aviation and the airport sector uh, to figure out and map the opportunities in the Israeli ecosystem that are relevant nowadays. Uh, and now on your screen, you can see uh, a landscape map that was actually prepared um, as, part of that, uh, as part of that process. And what we've noticed is that in uh, comparison to maybe uh, previous cases where we had a few additional measures added like a magnometer or a full body scan, now we're actually, uh, the aviation industry requires uh, an addition of a complete new layer, a layer called biosecurity. Now I'm not talking about uh, scanning for forbidden animals or any kind of seeds or fruits, but this is actually uh, uh, the introduction of new measures that are able to screen, to diagnose, to uh, enforce social distancing and sanitize uh, the airports uh, in, in the, uh, um, the airports and the uh, passengers as they go uh, to board planes. Um, and as we can see here in the landscape map, there are actually in the landscape map several portfolio companies of our product, but I'm only going to touch two of those. And the first one is a company called Juganu. And Juganu are actually a company that developed a proprietary LED light that initially was used to uh, better light uh, areas uh, and also provide additional services like connectivity, like temp temperature sensing, and, and, and etc. Um, Juganu are actually able to provide today uh, the light in the spectrum of the UVC light, which is actually uh, a disinfectant for COVID-19 and other viruses and bacteria. And this could be used in airports to disinfect huge halls and, and spaces um, as soon as, uh, as soon on request. Uh, so a very easy to implement and a very cheap solution to implement and, and get for sanitation. The other company is actually a portfolio company uh, that our crowd was a part of its inception, a company called Visible Zone, that are able to provide today a solution to enforce social distancing by uh, only installing an app on uh, cellular devices without any connectivity, not Wi-Fi or, or any kind of Bluetooth. They're able to uh, uh, alert you if you are in less than two meters away from uh, uh, any other pers person. Uh, if he's a, a carrier of COVID-19 or other infectious diseases. So many companies in the Israeli ecosystem have actually adapted quite a bit, as we can see here in the landscape map, to uh, provide solutions to uh, COVID, for COVID-19. Many of them are not aviation-related per se in their, in their original uh, status and coming from the mobility sector, energy sector, medical sector, um, only to, uh, only to uh, tackle the COVID-19 needs. And, and finally, why would this aspect of Israel's tech economy, the mobility, be of particular interest to our audience today in the UAE? Yeah, sure. So actually, we're uh, already uh, co-investors with uh, uh, UAE-based investors in transportation solutions. Uh, Dubai Ports is actually a co-investor in Hyperloop. Uh, and Dubai is also very much known for its advanced infrastructure investments already, uh, which brought down quite significantly the fatality rate on ro in road accidents. So uh, what I can say is that we at our crowd were very much excited to collaborate with uh, UAE investors to promote uh, better inter further integration of such solutions uh, to, to, uh, in, the, in the UAE. Thank you.